Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about a certain type of advice I got a lot early in life about dating and relationships that I think was really bad advice and that I wish I had rejected earlier on. When I was a teenager and I was first starting to think about dating and relationships, I read a lot of advice columns in the newspaper, I looked up advice things written online, and I got a lot of advice from my peers and other people in my life. And a huge portion of this advice took a certain form. It took the form of interpreting people's actions and words. So they would say things like, oh, if he says this, it means this. If she says this, it means this. Or if she does this, it means this. It's this sort of formulaic, rule-based approach to interpreting people's actions in a dating sort of scenario. And I internalized a lot of this and was kind of living by it, sometimes not fully consciously. And somewhere along the line, when I had had a sufficient amount of life experience, I started to realize that a lot of these rules and generalizations simply weren't true. That, like, I had interacted with a lot of different people, and I had done the same thing or said the same thing, and each person interpreted it in their own way, and sometimes the interpretations could be very different. And similarly, people would say or do things uh, involving me, and when I'd get to know them better, uh, they wouldn't necessarily have the same intention behind what it was that they said or did. So all these rules about like, oh, you should call the person at this time, and don't call too soon, or don't call too late, and if you call now it means this, and if he says this it means this, like, all of that, it's this really coarse generalization that is really only true in some cases and not in others. And our culture, our society, is so multicultural, and people are so diverse from one person to the next, that I think that these norms have really limited usefulness. And the one thing that I saw that was sort of the gold standard, the key uh, kind of holy grail of communication in relationships that I wish I had seen earlier was directness. If I really want to communicate something to someone, I can say it as directly as possible. And similarly, if I really want to know something, if I want to ask something of someone else, I can ask them directly, and I can take what they say at face value. That's not necessarily guaranteed to result in good communication, but I've learned that that's the best I can do. And I've also learned that if I'm in a situation where I'm interacting with someone and that direct communication breaks down, it's probably not the best situation for me to be in. Uh, if, if I can't communicate with someone directly, it's probably going to be hard for me to communicate with them at all. So that's what I've learned. Uh, I hope this can be useful to other people. I would also like to hear from you about whether or not this resonates with you. I also want to talk a little bit more about directness. I think there's a degree to which it can leave someone feeling uh, a little bit vulnerable. So for example, if I go out and I ask someone for their number, and I'm just like, hey, do you want to go out to dinner or something like that? Maybe I'm relying on social norms to try to communicate that I'm interested in them in a dating sense. And I think that can be a little bit risky, because they might think, oh, he's just wanting to go out for food. Uh, I think that it is really useful to explicitly say to someone how you feel about them, uh, but it can make you feel really vulnerable. So if I'm like, hey, I really like you, and I think you're really cute, and I was wondering if you wanted to go out on a date, that's like, that's really hard for me to do. It feels like more, uh, it's like exposing my intentions, exposing my feelings more. Uh, but at the same time, I think it's much better communication, because if I don't share that, and that's really my intention, the person might not hear it the way I intend it to. And I've been in a lot of situations where uh, 
that has happened. I've been in situations where I've been trying to communicate to someone that I'm interested in them in like a dating or romantic sense, and they just haven't gotten it until a certain point. And then they're like, whoa, where did that come from? But I've also been in situations where um, I was out on what someone else thought was a date, and I didn't know it was a date until they tried to kiss me or something like that. Uh, that's happened to me more than once. So I think that there are a lot of things that can kind of go wrong when we rely on the, these indirect forms of communication, because there's a lot of room for misunderstanding. It may be harder to communicate directly, you may feel more vulnerable, but I, I think the payoffs are huge. I think it leads to better relationships with people, whether it's just a friendship or a romantic relationship or anything. So I would like to challenge you all to throw out all that sort of advice about interpreting things, and instead to try to be direct in your communication. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you have comments, if you have anything you agree with, disagree with, anything you want to add or questions you want to ask of me, please comment. Uh, and if you like what I have to say, please consider subscribing to my channel. I really love when I get new subscribers. Thank you.